Ryan's colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. It's action, it's action night. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Kevin Kelly, 170 centimeters tall with a reach of 180. And the man he'll be facing, it's King Rye, Ryan Garcia. He's 178 centimeters tall with 178 centimeter reach. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. Here comes the flushing flash. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Flushing, Queens, New York, the former amateur great and world title holder, here is the WBC featherweight champion of the world, known as the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. Fighting out of the blue corner, from Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation, King Rye, Ryan Garcia. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is an arena fight. You couldn't have got anybody else in this place. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. So here we go, should be a good one. It's all offense all the time. Beautiful counter punch. Another scoring shot there. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. Perfect counter shot. Will count. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. He misses with that jab. That punch lands. Left counter punch will score. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. Catch and shoot. This oh, no, Kevin Kelly in some real trouble here. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. He's got to get out of there. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Going to need a knockout. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Here we go for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. That left counter was perfectly timed. punch one punch could change everything in this battle left punch lands with the right counter Some 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll... This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Good counter left hand there. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. Counter right. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. And there's the bell for round three. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see. Oh, and it's flashing lights for the flash here. He's got to get out of trouble. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Nice counter. Waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Right now, and the kid goes down. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. And boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once. You got away with it. You can do it again. Right now, the flash is seen. These two fighters are made for one another. Ten seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Well, this fighter has been down twice. They've got to up their game here, or this fight is going to be over. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. Here we go to the fourth round. It's been a nightmare so far. What can they do to turn this around? I had no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. God, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. So I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Or you play calm, play cool. 
about to see Ryan Garcia go to the canvas. Looks like they're out of trouble. Nice. So much for boxing. This is what a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. For sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive and then give it back the next round. Time for the fifth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a, he's got a bluff. Him. There's a scoring blow. And he fails to score with that left hook. Goes Kevin Kelly. One, two, three, four, five. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change? And Kevin Kelly is dazed. Us a second to catch our breath. Great counter right hand there. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Punch scores. Oh, and it's flashing lights for the flash here. He's got to get out of trouble. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is right. And the kid goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Both men were knocked down, and they let's start the six. Both fighters knocked down in the last round. What do we have in store for us in this one? Two knockdowns in the same round to both fighters. How is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It's still... Are we about to see which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? many people would have predicted it but we've got a knockout victory a knockout victory that's not a knockout victory that is somebody saying i'm here i've arrived try that again it will happen all over again